After two days of unprecedented criticism, Venezuela's Supreme Court revoked its controversial decision to strip the National Assembly of its powers. But the pro-government president of the court insisted their decision was far from unconstitutional. We will never do anything that goes against the stability of our country. The decisions will always have the good of the country as indicated by the Supreme Court and any court of the republic will be in the benefit of peace, tranquility and democracy of our country. The revision came after a late-night meeting of the country's State Security Committee, in which President Nicolás Maduro ordered the court to reconsider. It was an attempt to reduce tensions after widespread international criticism and, for the first time, visible divisions among the government ranks, with the country's Attorney General, Luisa Ortega, publicly denouncing the decision by the court. Opposition leaders celebrated the victory in the streets, but said the reversal proved once more that Maduro controls the courts and there's no longer a real separation of powers in Venezuela. They haven't done anything. The Supreme Court is looking to cover up a death, but the Supreme Court has installed a coup d'etat it cannot correct. Don't believe they are erasing one word in this sentence that aims to be a correction. The sentence is a culmination of a coup d'etat that has been coming for months and a year in Venezuela and you can't change it with a one-paragraph sentence. South American trade bloc Mercosur, which had already suspended Venezuela, held an emergency meeting in Buenos Aires, issuing a statement calling for immediate, concrete measures to ensure separations of power. The declaration of shutting down parliament was taken and continues in place, and this shows that a position clearly exists, that the separation of powers, which is the essence of democratic institutions, is no longer in function. The reversal may help defuse protests, but Maduro's opponents will seek to maintain pressure on the government as economic conditions continue to worsen. On Monday, the Organization of American States also called for an emergency meeting where many countries will demand early presidential elections in Venezuela. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Cucuta.